Hey guys, it's Trevor Lobster coming at you with the review of the Target exclusive UNSC Transport Hog. Now before I start things off, I want to say this is actually one of my favorites out of the Halo Wars series, I suppose. I've never had a Warthog, but this one is pretty cool because I've heard about a bunch of flaws about the turrets. But now that this one has this huge kind of thing, carrier back, it works really good. And I like it. And if you notice, the floor is in red, and the warthog's in red, and the Spartan's in red. This guy. Uh, I'm guessing that's because it's a Target exclusive. I'm really not sure. Most likely. Now, um, the manual. This is the manual. Let me adjust my camera. Tell me how you like it when it's, like, still. I don't have a tripod. I'm just using some stuff. So, uh, here's the manual. Here are the extra stickers. Not that there are really any extras. Uh, always it's thanking you in the second wave of this. It thanks you for buying their stuff. Battle diorama. I'm building one too, just to let you know, in case you haven't seen. Uh, really easy. And it comes with these temporary yellow pieces that you use to hold it together. It's a pretty good idea. There's Some of them are hard to get off, but I'm not complaining. Then it tells you about all the stuff on the back. And I'm hoping to get... Actually, the ones I want to get aren't on here. But I'm hoping to get the uh, Wraith next. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And this little thing. Many figures. I already had... This is my second brute. They're not that... They're not that... Like, they're rare, sort of. But I like it. He kind of has a brighter purple armor tint to him. I like him. Comes with the brute shot. Every brute does. Articulation's the same for everybody. And he has that hole in the back for his stuff. So... Next, you get. I'm not really gonna go over these guys. Uh, Red Spartan, you get these in other sets. But you get two of those. What I'm really happy about, I only have two of them, is uh, this guy's sniper rifle. I only have two of these. They kind of changed it a little. But um, the design's a little different than the one with the mongoose. And uh, the tripod's still the same, but it's kind of different than the mongoose one. So let me put that back on him. Set him right there. Okay, if I can just get him to stand. I'll do that later. Okay, so um, first I'll go with this one. Um, It comes with this kind of turf thing with the rock for cover. This is really cool, the plasma turret. It's actually just two pieces to make it look like it's floating. But it moves 360. And like in Halo 3, if you want to, you can detach it. That's what's holding it on this blue thing. Fits him very well. Let me see if I can do this for him. Let's take his brute shot, put it in his little back socket thing. Let's sand him up. It's a little hard. His hands are really stiff. I don't know why. In these new waves, my guy, my ki my figure's hands have been pretty stiff. Okay, so that's him. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Next is my favorite part, of course. Let's see, it's the, uh, it's hard to get it to see, but it is the Warthog. I'm going to have to do this with one hand right now. I really like it, and, uh, it is red. I'm guessing the red is from the Target exclusives, I really don't know. And, um, the temporary pieces will go on the bottom. I did have some confusion while building this, it was kind of hard, because in one picture it would be, a piece would be in one spot, then the next would be in the other. So that got confusing, but um, red with red wheels, not tires, red, red red wheels. Okay, but um, as you can see, there's a wheel right here. You can move it around, steering wheel. It's kind of loose, but oh well. I don't know why they don't have seats. I it, it'd be better if they had seats. They just have little holes to set your guys in, as you can see. So I don't like that. Suspension's really good though. I like it. It's actually genius. You can see it's these little parts right here. It's move up and down, and there's a little uh, flat piece that stops it from colliding. So that is that. The one problem I did have with this warthog is this. I'm just gonna take these away. Okay. It is the stickers, and man, there are a lot of stickers. There's stickers here, 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 on there. That grating is a sticker. There's stickers all over the place. It was especially hard getting these ones on, these lights, because, um, 
you had a really narrow room for failure. Uh, this one was the easiest, just putting the plate, license plate in. And another problem they fixed was these hooks. In the other warthogs, they would be loosely attached, but now they're not. They're actually grated in there, part of the part of a uh, structure that holds the front together. So that's really nice. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody. And um, yeah, they they don't fall off at all. It's really nice. No matter how much you try, they won't fall off. And this whole thing is really sturdy. You can go crazy with it. It doesn't go apart. Uh, the windshield's nice. I like that. It's one part. They really captured the detail of the warthog, too. I really like that. Even down to this little, whatever this vent thingy is right here. And uh, to get the guy in, you open these up. There's one that opens up there and one that opens up there. It would really be nice if they had, like, little these things, whatever they're called, studs, to, um, be able to stand them in there, but you can't. So, I'm gonna set my camera down for you guys. I'm gonna go get, well, actually, no, not go get, he's right here. Get this red Spartan, he'll be the driver. It's harder to get him in here without seats. Oh, ah, I take it back, that was easy. Set his gun in there. Then, to do this, you have to flip that down to get him in there. I really don't know what to do. You can stand him up while sniping. And uh, he's sitting in there. Whoops, he died. Yeah, it's hard to stand him up, so I usually just sit them down. So we can snipe, like, while driving. So that's kind of cool. I really like that. I'm going to take this off again. Okay. So yeah, you can sit them down in there. It would be better if they had seats like they do in the actual Halo games. But they don't. They just have this flat surface. So that's nice. The bumper is really nice too. I really like the bumper. And um, that's really much, pretty much it. I don't know why they don't have a sticker on that panel on the inside. But mm, I'm not the owner of Megabox, so I don't know. So anyways, that's it. That is the whole Target exclusive. Except one feature. That I forgot to show you. How can I forget to show you about the box? That is that is nuts. Okay, so as you can see, you're gonna see Troop Hog, 165 pieces, eight and up, set number nine six eight six six, set number four. I it's it's, it's in red, so I'm guessing that's because it's the Target exclusive. You get all that stuff. Cool little animation, Spartan going. You're going down, bro. Right here, exclusive brick, yippee. Every set has an exclusive brick. Okay. That is next on my reviewing. That one is really awesome. Okay, the blueprints. Right here it says, You want to see Transport Warthog. The Warthog is an all-purpose 4x4. Four four. It scouts... Well, four-wheel drive, actually. It scouts, it moves troops, it harasses enemy vehicles, and it can drive almost anywhere. Warthogs can be upgraded with the M4, M41 light anti-aircraft gun and the M68 Gauss cannon. In addition to mounted weapon upgrades, passengers have a full range of fire to defend the Warthog against any threat, combat role, scouting, and or infantry support. So that's cool. And in case you're wondering, I didn't, it, it even says Target right there, it's a, it's a sticker, but I didn't order it off Target, I mean, I didn't get it from Target, I ordered it off Amazon, because it's actually cheaper on there, well, minus the shipping, but the thing itself is cheaper. It's twenty dollars at Target, and I got this for fifteen. And I got also got the Hornet Attack. It's thirty dollars, I think, and I got it for twenty-five. So it's like five dollars off. It's actually nice. The box, nice and shiny. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This has been a Trouble Lobster review. Thank you.